Uh, hello, this is Eternal Blade, and welcome to part 20 of the Orc Gunwagon tutorial. Alright, let's start by creating a box over here. Alright, uh, convert to an editable poly, select all the edges and chamfer. Alright, now select these vertices right here and bring them down. Right, polygon, inset this. Okay, then do another inset, except this time make it by zero. Alright, and scale that one on the y axis, scale it down. Bring it down, inset by point 17 and extrude back up select those edges chamfer okay um next we're going to need to select uh, this edge select that edge and that edge uh, connect slide all the way back over here about there. So that and that connect. Interesting. Go into the front view and move the slide thing till it's perfectly straight. Mine actually is, so polygon or er, sorry. Um let's see, make a cut from here to here, go in the front view, and again, just you can scale this one to make sure it's straight, uh, perspective, polygon edge actually, just like these two, connect, um, move it inward about a slide of about 32. Okay, um, and delete that polygon, hinge from edge, pick hinge, right there, let me see how high that is, okay, cancel that, select this edge, and move it up, actually select that edge too, move them up, polygon, hinge from edge, pick hinge, right there, 90 and uh, 9. Okay. Edges. Get the same edges. Bring them just to about there. Polygon. Now you have the one on the back and delete it. Okay. Vertex. Um, select just the vertex in this general area. Weld. And you should lose two of them. Okay, next go to polygon, select these polygons, hinge from edge, pick hinge, right there, and select OK, and just press delete. Alright, uh, next let's mm, create box over here, bring it up, increase the height a bit more, All right, convert to an editable poly, polygon, select, actually edge, control A, chamfer, and you can get that one two segments. Alright, next let's make some splines. So, the spline, line, and just create one. Convert it to an oops, editable spline. Grab the vertices and drag them out. Um, 
then you're going to want to add uh, some beziers, and you're going to want to add two should do it, and then convert all the rest of your uh, vertices on this to bezier by right clicking and hitting bezier. All right, uh, grab this vertex, drag it over to this box. Grab this one, drag it up, drag this one, drag it over. Make sure everything's lined up though, or else we get weird results. Test it rendering, enabling viewport, enabling renderer. And increase the thickness a bit. Right, that looks pretty good. Okay. Uh, next, select this and just bring that out a bit. Then select all the vertices on the top and drag it down. Okay. Select this and copy it twice. Alright, um go into the vertex mode of each one. Select the vertices and just alter them a bit. Whether you want to move them down or wherever. Just get rid of the uniformity. Right, move this one up as well. Select. That. That. Vertex. Uh, let's just bring this vertex forward a bit. Move this one down. Okay, and then convert these to editable polys. So convert to editable poly, convert to editable poly, and convert to editable poly. Now in the polygon mode, just select the general polygons in about that area and deselect those and give these ones a bevel and local normal decrease the height and the outline amount but just make them slightly bigger so I'll do the same here deselect bevel local normal increase the height Decrease the outline amount. Select that. Polygon. Select all of those. Deselect that. Bevel. Local normal. Decrease the height. And increase the outline amount. Alright, let's uh, select everything. Give it a gray color. Okay. Make it black. Okay, and that'll be it for part 20. Um, in part 21, I think we might actually finish the engine, uh, but first actually let's give this a smooth modifier, auto smooth, and just copy it to a few of these pieces too. Copy it to that one, copy it to that one, just wherever you have uh, cylinders because it leads to issues if you don't do this. Um, Alright, uh, I'll see you in part 21.